Okay, so I've got the camera so that you can just see the tail, um, which hopefully will be useful. And you can see that Watson has got a big old fluffy tail here. Let's move you a little bit that way, good boy. And all I'm gonna do first is brush it or comb it. It doesn't matter whether it's brush or comb. Um, I've recently given him a comb, so it should be fairly matte free, but he has just also come back from a walk. He's probably desperate to be going to sleep. I know, darling. This is what will happen if you don't have a restraint. They'll keep on sitting down. It won't take long sausage. So I'm just gonna brush it. And then we'll be ready to start cutting. Okay, the first thing you need to do is actually use a clipper. I've got a three and three quarters um, blade on this, so it's 13 millimeters, I think, yeah. And that is just to take the end of the tail off. And so what you do is you tuck the tail underneath, and I'm just holding it towards his leg, and then you take the clippers and you just go downwards. So whatever it is left when you've tucked that tail under, you're just going to take it off with the clippers like so. And then I'll show you how much has come off. So that's just the beginning of the tail and that gives it a nice sort of definition. I'm just going to do that underneath as well. You don't have to, but I'm going to. because I'm going to have quite a thin tail, so we like a thin tail, don't we, Watson? There we go. Okay, so now we're going to use scissors. You can use scissors or you can use thinners. Um, I'm just going to raise that camera up. For this cutting part, you can use scissors. I am using these. These are Rosaline scissors, um, and they're really, really sharp. Or you can use thinners, but I think that this is a part that's easiest done with scissors. So what we're going to do is we're going in the shape, in an arched shape, so basically like, like the arch that you can see there, a sort of C if you like. And the easiest way to do it is to push all the hair to the back, I know, I know, and to cut it above your hand. So I'm going to hold it like so, and then I'm just going to start cutting following that arch. And you can do this in each direction. So after we've done it this way, I know sausage, I can feel him pulling his tail. Most dogs don't like their tail being done. I know, darling, we're nearly done sausage. Stand for mummy. Stand for mummy, there's a good boy. That's a good boy. So I'm just gonna go back to where I was there. You can see, take it down a little bit. I'm holding at the tip of his tail there. Stand up, Daniel. Good boy. Holding the tip of his tail there just to make sure that I don't cut it. And I've just cut that, following that sort of arch. Now that's cut a lot of hair out, but it hasn't got, you can see if I let go, it's still looking pretty bulky. Now some people might just like the tail like that and you can just then brush it downwards and sort of, you know, work on the edges. But I'm going to take it from the inside as well. So I'm going to brush the hair upwards. And then it's quite hard actually doing it this way. <laughs> I know, sausage. I know. He's going to keep on trying to sit down. Because it's, it's difficult to follow the curve. So I'm not going to worry too much about following the curve. I'm just going to make sure that I've protected his, the bone of his tail. And cut what's above my hands and we can work on the actual shape afterwards. I remember last time I cut his tail actually, I thought I'd cut it just a little bit too thin. Good boy, good boy. So you can see it's getting there. It's a little bit less fluffy, but I do want some fluff left on it. So like I said, you can do it all different ways. So what I could do now is do it to the side. So I'm gonna push all the hair to the side and I'm just gonna trim a bit. Good boy. Good boy, Watson. A bit. And then I could trim it to the other side, you know, push all the hair to the other side and do it like that. But what I'm going to do now, now that I've got the bulk of it off, is I'm going to just fluff it backwards so I can see exactly what I've got and then start working on the shape from here. So I can see here there's too much hair there, so I'm just going to snip into that. This is pretty similar, good boy, 
pretty similar to um, scissor in the legs. So if you hold it like this, you can then see that you're going to get that nice tail shape. And you can trim anything that's sort of sticking out. Good boy, what a good boy, Watson. I know you want to sit down, I know. Always hold the tip when you get to the top so that you can feel that you're not going to cut them. Oops. So while he's sitting down here, I'm just going to have a look at the tail while it's on the bench and see if I can snip into it a little bit. Let's show you how I do that. Just take a comb through it and brush it out either side. And then again, you can use your curves, the curve idea. Don't think you're going to see it very well from there, but to go either side. So just going to hold it gently. looking pretty good now so, let's get so you should be able to see now that's an, a lot lot neater um, and the final thing would just be to hold it up like this brush it backwards and then I'll just take off any little lens I can see this way you can look at it from every angle stand up darling Good boy. I sometimes do it shorter than this actually, but I think I'll try and try and keep it slim. Uh, keep it with some body today. <laughs> He's desperate to sit down. Stand up a minute, darling. Stand up. Good boy. It's just because he's so tired, but I want to get this done so that he can just sleep afterwards. So see there's a bit here. I'm not happy with that, so I'm just going to put just pulling that out and then just going to shape it in. Always thinking about those curves. Okay. That's much better, I think, isn't it? Let's have a look here. I'm not so keen about on this, this bit here, so we'll give it a little trim there. It is one of those things where you could keep going and end up with a really short tail like I did last time. So you do have to, you know, judge when it's time to say enough is enough. Let's have a look. Just do a little bit off there, I think. Good boy. Let's see. Maybe a little bit off here. That's good, I like that, I think that's enough. So that is Watson's tail done, that's what it looks like. Nice little neat tail, do let me know if you've got any questions and I will speak to you again soon. Good.